Iron and Wine Restaurant. All right, you guys, I said it was going to happen. The brand new What's Cooking with Kimberly. I am in Patterson, New York, hanging out with my boy, Tommy, who has mad skills in the kitchen. He's got this beautiful restaurant, Iron and Wine, tapas, shared plates, no skimping on the culinary delights. We are behind the bar, as you can see, and he just made me this beautiful caparena. Tommy, thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. This is awesome. So for those of you who don't know, Tommy was the winner of Cutthroat Kitchen, and he was on Hell's Kitchen throwing down. Oh, look at what we've got here. Oh, my gosh. Those Brussels sprouts are calling my exactly. name, exactly. all right? So I'm just going to jump right in. If, you wanted, right. if you'd like to tell me about this dish, I'm listening oh, while I'm fantastic. eating. <laughs> this is probably one of our best-selling dishes here. Uh, we do. We have a fried crispy Brussels sprout. Uh, and then it's actually glazed with a pork fat caramel that we make out of our, all of our pork drippings after roasting oh, our pork butts. Oh, my gosh. Did and uh, it's a little soy, a little ginger, and uh, some chili. It's uh, just like a spicy glaze, sweet, spicy, salty. We add a little lemon juice on top. Add acid to cut the sweetness. And uh, the dish is topped with a little sesame yum, seed, yum, a little yum, jalapeno, yum, yum, yum. add a little extra Look spice. I literally <laughs> take the juice rendered mm. and the pork fat, and then we cook it down mm. with chilies, a little soy sauce and ginger, oh, sugar, and we turn What's it into pretty much the equivalent of a caramel that we glaze the Brussels with. Sweet, that is spicy. Mwah. Yeah, it's fantastic. Mwah. Mwah. So good. Well, I, I like. I literally put any like pork product or anything cooked off a piece of pork in something else mm. at all times. You know. So that's a great secret. Don't give all your secrets away because I'm gonna no. steal them. What do we have here? You have a toasted coconut crab cake. Ooh. And uh, I've been slinging this dish for God. He's been slinging this dish years. for six years. Seriously. Because this is a favorite. Yeah. Everywhere I go. It's a staple. Every job I've had leading up to here, this point in my life, is I've brought this dish with me. Wow. People rave about it. Okay. It just got uh, a little toasted coconut, brings a lot of sweetness out of the crab. Uh, on top is a spicy remoulade, and there is also a marmalata made out of uh, sweet bell pepper that we cook down. And actually, there's two ingredients to that, a little sugar and bell pepper, and it oh, just slow cooked gosh. down, so it brings out the natural sweetness of the, the red bell. So I'm just going to say... Many people don't even know it's there, but it is. If you want a crab cake, this crab cake is worth driving. The golden ticket. Yeah, <laughs> this is the golden <laughs> ticket <laughs> crab cake right here. This is delicious, and I'll be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of coconut, mm -hmm. but it's so good it. in this. Uh, it, I, it's in the batter. It's on the outside, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We're just getting started here. Tommy is going to let us go back in the kitchen and see what's really going on, so don't go anywhere. Stick around. 